What's up everyone? Ross here with JR Sounds. Today I've got something non-DJ for you. If you were looking for a basketball goal like I was for months, uh, couldn't decide if I wanted portable, in-ground, or recently discovered wall mount. So quickly crossed off the portable goals, wanted something a little bit uh, better as far as looks go. And my driveway out here, can't see, but I'll show you in a second. Um, I didn't really think an in-ground one was gonna fit well, so I discovered a wall mount basketball goal that's still able to be height adjusted. So you put this to where on your lowest setting, the rim height from grade is seven and a half feet, and then you can adjust it up to 10 feet for a regulation size. <clears throat> um, the brand is Goliath. I ordered it from Dick's. And I've seen some other ones uh, like Goal Setter and stuff like that on Amazon. Um, I used Dix because I had a gift card. So anyway, uh, there was only one review on the Dix website. I could not find that much information online about any reviews or anything in detail. So I decided to do this in case anyone else is looking. So I just got it in. Um, <clears throat> it was actually delivered by Freight, a small box truck, not really an 18 wheeler. Um, I wasn't going to open it because I'm not going to install it yet, but the box looked kind of rough. So I wanted to make sure there was the back, mainly the backboard was okay. Um, let me show you the box. So that corner there was my main concern, which it's not the worst thing, but anyway, I just wanted to make sure. Uh, $500 goal and I didn't want it to sit for a week and whenever I go to install it, find out it's cracked. So anyway, I unboxed it. I think the packaging was adequate. Nothing was damaged. Here is the backboard. I'd have to read up on the material. I forget some kind of poly. It's not tempered glass. It's a polycarbonate, some kind of plastic, I guess. But anyway, it has a uh, metal frame in the back that the mount attaches to and kind of add some rigidity, mainly here, whenever you're playing. Um, I laid everything out on my table here. I think this is pretty nice. I have everything labeled. Um, the numbers, the, each part came in a little bag and then the bag had the number on it. So like part number 14, one through whatever. Um, so anyway, this is everything laid out. I think it's pretty nice. Everything was came as it should. And here's the instruction manual. It looks thorough, but of course, once I get into it, I can update you and let you know how thorough it actually is. Um, so let me show you where I plan on mounting this. This fence right here is on my property line and the concrete goes all the way to it. So I was thinking of an in-ground system, but I didn't want it in the driveway and I couldn't go off the edge of the concrete because it would be my neighbor's yard. Um, so anyway, that's why I opted for the wall mount. And truth be told, the garage on my house is actually would be better as far as uh, how big the court would be width-wise. But that window right there, the wife and I decided that wouldn't be best uh, chances are between me and my friends and once our kids get older that it would eventually be broken so we have a detached shop which is really close to the house but anyway it's technically detached and we're gonna go up there right about where that light is and attach this basketball goal um, now I think we will make it a rule to have the garage door up here so we don't inadvertently ding and dent the garage door um, <clears throat> but that's pretty much it. The gist of the beginning of this project. I just kind of wanted to do this real quick and uh, I'll upload it once we're done. And also if you are looking at this, I can get final dimensions once it's up, but it will, it's not going to be flush with this wall. It'll probably be, I'm thinking two and a half feet. So as far as playing, you have a little leeway or if you go to do a layup or something like that and not run into the wall. Um, but like I said, we're going to have the garage door open, so you should have plenty of room 
to not hit anything and you can run underneath into our shop. The only thing you might hit is the boat, but you'll have room to play. Let me measure this real quick for y'all. So this arm, 30 inches. So yeah, around about two and a half feet, depending on what angle or what height the goal is at and what angle those arms would be at. So it's gonna stick off the wall somewhat so you'll have room. But anyway, I'll uh, do some more as we start assembly and stuff like that. All right, <clears throat> we're over halfway done with the uh, assembly of the goal. Uh, this is the backboard. Just installed these brackets, and then that's where they mount to the upper arms of the goal assembly. Um, anyway, I want to show y'all stop and show in between my assembly steps um, some of the instructions again. They're pretty good. All the notes, if you just read everything, you won't have a problem. They even tell you what size tool you need, socket or wrench, and everything's labeled they even give you an actual size let's see actual size so whenever you go pull the hardware you can double check yourself there and know that you have the right thing um all the hardware came on these boards two boards it's got what the number is that's how they identify it and how many there should be on each thing so i just took a razor knife and cut around the part i needed as i needed it so really good at keeping everything organized um but yeah, anyway, I installed on a brick wall and I had to do a lot of bracing, which I'll show here coming up uh, once I finish the assembly. So um, anyway, wanted to show and show the instructions. Very good, really thorough, read everything and shouldn't have any issues. I haven't as of yet. So I'll uh, update y'all shortly. All right, she's up. So set a 10 foot. Right now, uh, the wood that you can see there, I'm gonna paint gray to match. I'm just waiting a little bit to, to dry out. Um, but anyway, it's up. I'll uh, go into the how I had to install it because of what I was installing it on, this brick, brick wall. If it was a wood wall, it would have been a lot easier. But um, anyway, we'll go inside the attic to explain that. But I'm uh, really happy with the goal so far. It's uh, a lot more rigid than I thought it would be after playing on it for a little bit. Um, operates smoothly. When you have it at a 10 foot, it probably won't, these arms won't be down like this if you install it at the height that the manufacturer recommends. I had to install the bracket higher just because of my situation with uh, how high my ceilings are and some of the structural uh, woodwork that was in my attic. But anyway, we'll go up in the attic and explain that. But yeah, so far so good. I think it looks really neat being a clear backboard. Um, this right here is where you hook an arm that it comes with. You turn that and it races it up and down. Um, from manufacturer, if you set it at their height, it ranges from seven and a half to 10 feet. Where I have it mounted, it's a little bit high. So my range is more like uh, nine foot, three inches up to uh, 11 foot eight inches or so so this one gets pretty high but that's because i had to modify my mounting point so anyway let's go up in the attic and i'll show you what i had to do in order to properly brace the goal don't mind the christmas deco so if you know anything about houses a little bit, you know that a brick wall has airspace uh, in between the back side of the brick wall and the wood or studs of the home. So this is my, my bracing here, but some of the more anatomy of it, I cut this away. It was solid plywood. I cut this away in order to get to the brick and you can see that there's a uh, probably two inch gap so if you are to install this just screwed into the brick uh the goal from the front side the brick wall would actually move some and brick or concrete anything like that is really good really strong when you're talking about compressive load but as far as a pull out strength or tensile strength 
it's uh it's a brittle material and it's not good for that so if you're going to a brick wall beware i would definitely do something to the extent that i did and use the wood your studs to help brace the goal um so anyway let's talk about it real quick so i marked my holes drilled my holes and essentially what i did the two by sixes on the front that i was talking about painting um that'd be like one part of the sandwich and back here all this wood is the other half of the sandwich and the brick is the filler <clears throat> so the brick is sandwiched between wood and it, it does not move anymore so it's nice and strong and these horizontal four by sixes here i screwed them into these three vertical studs so any weight let's say if you were to dunk and hang onto the rim all of that uh torque on the wall or moment is translated to these three studs so you've got that weight evenly distributed and hopefully this is strong enough and won't mess up the brick but after i put my wood block fillers i went and bought 16 inch studs cut to order and i drilled completely through the two by sixes on the front the brick the wood filler and these four by sixes that span these studs so like I said, the brick is sandwiched and these studs grab all the way from front to back. So the brick really isn't doing any work here in this setup. So, and then I've got this uh, vertical filler just for, just in case. <clears throat> Probably a little bit overkill, but I'd rather be safe than sorry. I knew if I wouldn't have done any of this and just went straight to the brick, uh, I would have damaged my brick if not ripped out a chunk of the wall. So anyway. If you have questions or comments, just let me know down below. Um, I couldn't hardly find anything like this online. Um, so if you find something, let me know. I'd be interested to see what, what other people have done. So uh, I'll go back outside and show the goal one more time. And there it is. One last time. Like I said, if you have any questions, comments, let me know. And I'll answer them. And if you've seen someone do a similar setup, with this type of uh, construction I'd be curious to to see how they did it so uh, if it fails I'll shoot another video <laughs> hopefully it won't so anyway all right y'all have a good one